Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long ass time <laughs> since I have filmed anything. Um, life has been kind of insane um, this last half of the 2019, but here we are in 2020. New fresh start. Happy beginnings. Happy 2020 to everyone. I hope you all had wonderful, wonderful holidays. And I am back again. Gonna be back on this social media grind. Gonna do some new videos. Well, old videos I had planned, but um, <laughs> I'm just now doing. I have a lot of new content planned in store for you guys. And you know, I have just a lot going on. And you know, I can't promise that I'm gonna be making videos a lot. But I'm gonna make as many as I can because I enjoy doing it and I enjoy having this platform to share with the world. A lot changed. My hair is a lot longer. And I finally did the big girl beauty guru thing and bought this massive beautiful vanity from Impressions Vanity. They had a really good sale and I got it for like um, a really good price like $270 and I was able to pay with a firm which means I paid three payments of like $90 over the course of the three months because I am the budget bitch. <laughs> so yeah, oh, my skin is so glowy, look at me. I mean, a lot has changed, you know, working on some big life changes in my life, busy trying to get my life in order just like everybody else, you know? So yeah. And a family. Let's get into the video. Today's video is going to be a haul of makeup that I bought <laughs> three months ago from Sephora. It was, I think, the end of the summer Sephora sale. And then I bought more makeup during the holiday sale. And it was going to be like a VIB sale buying guide, but now, I mean, obviously it's long over, so I'm just going to haul some of the stuff I got. I haven't used any of this product yet because I wanted to wait until I did the video to use it. The first thing I got was this Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions palette. I had a whole like 420 like weed video idea because I totally smoke weed every day and I want to smoke it all. It gives me really bad anxiety problems. This palette is so freaking beautiful and I've been wanting to try Melt eyeshadows for a very long time because I hear they're some of the best of the best. They have really great palettes and they're insanely, insanely pigmented. This is right up my alley because my favorite color is green and it's all green shadows and green complementary shadows. So it's super, super, super cute. I got a refill of the Kat Von D Locket Foundation Powder. Kat Von D has released refills of pretty much all her powder products, like all her contour powders. She also has refills of the powder foundation. I have been obsessed with this foundation over the past year. I love wearing just a bit of concealer, super light concealer to really highlight my eye, and then use this powder foundation all over my face to like just get enough coverage where it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup but um, it also brings back, you know, my skin tone. Oh, this one is really light. So, this might actually be a highlighting powder on me. I didn't realize how light this one was. This is the color Fair 110, and the one I typically use is Light 46, so I don't know what I was on buying that shade. <laughs> you can see, and you can see how much I love this product. It's pretty much all used up. But yeah, that color is definitely different. The side by side. I should probably return this and get the right color, actually. Yeah, let me do that. So I got a Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Matte Primer. Um, because I always use new primers. Primer is something I really do go through a lot. I've been using the Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. And I like it. I want to see if this is going to be more mattifying. And I could really use this every day. Obviously, I compare it to my gold standard, my Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer, for when I'm just running around, doing all kinds of things, sweating, and that just really helps keep my oils at bay and my makeup intact. So, we'll see how this one compares to that. I also got more Melt Shadows. I've wanted one of these for so long. I think they're just the coolest thing, and there's really nothing like it in the makeup industry. So these are, this is a Milt eyeshadow stack and it is a palette. It is a palette composed 
of individual shadows. This one actually kind of broke and I opened it and I had to fix it with alcohol. So that just goes to show that it is a pretty soft formula. But they're all different stacks. And I got this one. This is called the, I don't remember what it's called. But it's the blue one, and most of them have like single pans, but this one happened to have a double pan, which is what really drawn me to it, because I can try more shades. I really love the idea of this, can't wait to try it. I got Urban Decay Stay Naked Corrective Concealer. I've heard so much about this new formula that it's really great. It's, I believe, an improvement to the Naked line and the Naked Concealer. Super cute packaging. This is the shade 10NN. It's up to 24 hour wear. Buildable full coverage, flexible, breathable, does not transfer, real skin matte finish. So it's probably going to be more coverage than the original Naked Concealer, but then not as like intense like makeup looking matteness that the All Nighter Concealer is, which I can attest to. Um, I do like that a concealer, but you have to really work to blend it out because it dries so quickly and you could have just splotches of dried out concealer on your skin very easily. It's vegan and does not contain animal derived ingredients. Obviously that's what vegan means. Get it together. I got I so do you guys ever use these freaking like samples that they always give you? This is a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I just feel like it's so much work to like just open it and then do you even get enough for like one application? I'd assume you do. I'm just gonna actually open one up and see what we're dealing with. Maybe it's enough for one. I'm gonna put one on now. Being super fresh. I just realized my idiot ass threw out my mini mirrors, but I need a mini mirror if I'm gonna film tutorials. Because I can't just use the viewfinder, it doesn't give me a good view to look at myself. I got a refill of this lovely foundation stick. It looks very natural, but only if you have really matte skin. Um, otherwise, it just grabs onto like every possible dry patch you can have. Um, this is, I didn't even say the name, this is the Anastasia Stick Foundation. This is the third one that I bought. I went through two of these. I love them just so much. This is the shade Warm Porcelain. I got this because everyone was talking about it. I did want to try more Charlotte Tilbury. Some of her stuff is so expensive, I just can't get behind. But um, the Lip Cheat Lip Pencil seemed reasonable. Let's go ahead and swatch it. This is the iconic one, Pillow Talk. Very pretty. Oh my god, super creamy, and I love, love this color. That's it right there. Definitely something I could use on the daily. I think she's such a wonderful makeup artist and she's just such a lovely, pleasant person. I just really would love to, you know, try more of her products. I got a treatment mask from Way, which I actually do want to try a treatment mask because my hair is just all kinds of foolish. I need to get a haircut soon. Definitely gonna get one. I've been growing my hair out again. I've been feeling a little more, you know, effeminate lately, so I've just been really embracing that, but my hair is not up for discussion. Got this Cover Effects High Performance Setting Spray. And I haven't tried this setting spray. I heard good things about it. Uh, let's try some now, because I don't have anything on. That's a very soft mist. Usually you hear like the But this just, wow. It really mists things on, it really mists on beautifully. I'm not surprised the Cover Effects is a very highly professional brand that a lot of professionals use, professionally. <laughs> Last thing, I got a salicylic acid mask. I love salicylic acid on my skin. And this is, I never used a mask of salicylic acid, but I guess it'll give a really nice strong dose of salicylic acid. Be careful with these in the sun because they contain beta hydroxyl acid that increases your skin sensitivity. So you definitely have to wear a sunscreen, but I would use this at night because I don't ever wear masks in the morning anyway, so that shouldn't be an issue. By the time I would go outside again, it would probably all absorb. 
I have very blemish prone skin because I'm very oily and I also wear a lot of makeup. <laughs> so blemishes are just gonna happen, it's unavoidable. I do a pretty good job of dealing with them. I have a whole system and I have been using the Clarisonic. I'm finally on a Clarisonic team. So that's good. That's really been helping with my skin. It's more sanitary to use, like just in general, any kind of brush like that. So you're not like rubbing whatever grime is on your hands like into your skin as you cleanse. This was a really quick, simple video that I just wanted to, you know, get back on here, get back into the gist of filming again. I have plenty of other videos in store, much more fun videos than this. So let me know if there's any kind of video you want to see. I am at your service. And if you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share it to the world, share it to the children. Love you guys. So glad to be back. And I'll see you soon. Bye.